Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your main man Thaddeus is coming to you live from my home studio. And I just wanted to share some new things that I saw in Builderall. For those of you that don't know, if you're already in Builderall, you can go over here to the notification section where it looks like I have 29 notifications. And you can look in there to see what the new stuff is. Okay. And it's time for me to make my payment. I think uh, five months, five months, maybe six. Um, just really starting to get into it. It's amazing. Um, I seemed a little, it seemed a little overwhelming at first, but anyway, there's some new stuff here. One is the video wrapper. The other one is the Instagram auto poster, which is amazing. They're both amazing. But the one I want to talk about is builder all zap. So, um, you can click here and this will take you to a video, which is three minutes and 22 seconds long not long at all, shows you exactly how to use it. But um, we're not gonna watch that here in my video because I'm just gonna take you to the app and show you. So the app is under apps in the menu. You click on apps, it's gonna open up. You're gonna scroll down, there's a whole lot of really cool stuff in there. But you're gonna go down to Builder All Zap. Click on Builder All Zap and it is going to authenticate you. Now, I've already been in here playing around, but what you're gonna to have to do is connect your web page here to your WhatsApp on your phone. There's an integration process, which um, since I'm already integrated, but it will show you right here, your WhatsApp web session is an extension of WhatsApp on your mobile phone. WhatsApp web connects to your mobile phone to synchronize messages, allowing you to see all messages on both devices, computer and mobile. The first step in getting WhatsApp web is to have an active WhatsApp account on your mobile device. So you gotta get it on your mobile device. Once you do, you're gonna go through this verification um, session here where you would click verify. And I'm already authenticated, but it's just a simple process that you're going to go through on your phone, on the WhatsApp. It will guide you through. And there is also this video on it as well, which can be located just by, if you're in Builder All already, just clicking on your notifications and going down to the integration video right here, which is three minutes and 22 seconds long, I believe. Yes. Okay. But once you're authenticated, you're ready to rock and roll, okay? It also provides a message queue down here, and this message queue, it only gives you the information of the numbers that are waiting to be sent and the ones that have presented a problem. If you don't put in the right parameters when you set up the people that you wanna reach out to through WhatsApp, then you'll have an error like I did multiple times the first few times I tried uh, this morning. And there is a test set section right here where you can test the system. So I've already done that. I want to show you some of the other features here and how it works. Okay, they have parameters set up right here. I tried it without the plus one. It did not work. Okay, so I'm going to go to my WhatsApp on my phone real quick here. And once you authenticate, you'll be connected. And I'm going to put in a number on my phone according to the parameters that were laid out. And they also say use a semicolon and person's name, Dolly Parton. All right, and once you have the cell phone number, and you can put multiple numbers in, multiple numbers. Um, Let's go with another one. This one is a plus. Ooh. I don't see a number, but it's 220. Uh, country code, I mean. 748 2957. My colon in this person is Freddy, Freddy, Freddy B. Okay. Hey, what's going? Busy? 
Is he now? Question mark. Okay, so I put my message in there, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click send. Bow chicka wow wow. And down at the bottom, you saw it flash saying that, you know, it's working on it. So we can hop over here to dashboard. Remember, dashboard shows you the ones waiting to be sent. I got two waiting to go out. And there they are. They're waiting. And while they're waiting, I'm going to go over here and show you. Um, what else can I show you? Down here also, settings window, it will show you the message queue. Okay. We've touched on everything. That's where you put your numbers. That's where you put your message. You click send over here on the dashboard. It tells you exactly what's going on. The message is waiting to be sent. The message is waiting to be resent. Messages uploaded today, errors today, what was posted this month, and the errors this month. This is a powerful, powerful tool to reach out to your contacts that use WhatsApp. So um, I would suggest a strategy to finding people that are on WhatsApp and let's start there working with those people and encourage everyone else to get it, you know? So hope you got some value from this video. I'm Thaddeus coming to you live from Bear, Delaware. It's early in the morning. I'm still drinking my coffee and uh, we're about to turn on the fireplace and relax for a little bit, but I just wanted to share this with you. Have a great day. Are you listening? Damn.